Hello, how are we today? Hope things are going really well with you. Um, as you can see, today is another wonderful day here in sunny Spain and things are good, okay? Life's good. So let's see how we're going to tackle today's little topic and problem. Problems in life. Wow, how many of those do we have? Huh? How many do we have in a day? How many do we have in a week? I mean, sometimes some of us are just all in, you know, every day, all day long, you know. And we have to retain, retain all this in our brain and we have to try and sort it out and keep it in one place and keep it in another. But you've got to free yourself of all that, okay? You've got to, when you have problems and you've got to try and resolve them, you've really, really got to try and um, take away self-doubt, fear, and your own lack of confidence, really, because sometimes we get so afraid of the problem that's in front of us. You know, as the saying goes, we cannot see the wood for the trees. So what I would suggest is one or two little things that may help you to overcome this when we're problem solving. Obviously, the number one rule has always got to be keep calm. And I know that for some of you, that is just a total impossibility. But it is something you can learn, I promise you. I promise you, you can learn this, okay? And I'm speaking from experience. So uh, whether it's, you know, you take in your, your deep breath, you look around, take a look at your surroundings, feel good, feel comfortable, and just calm, you know? Just take yourself for one or two seconds to that wonderful place you like to go. Whether it's your beach, your mountain top, your woods, your flowers, your garden, wherever it is, just take yourself there, transport yourself there for a couple of seconds, okay? And just, oh, this is how I feel, you know, when I'm lounging on my lounger on this wonderful beach and I can feel the sun on my body and I can hear the water and you just relax, okay? Let it all go and relax. That is when you are at the utmost brilliant moment to solve any of these problems that you may have in your life and give them a little bit of order. You've got to give them a little bit of mental order, you know, and it has to go in the right order at the right time and in the right way. And how committed to you are, are you to that? How interested are you in resolving that? Um, because all these things are factors which are going to help you. Now, I am a great list maker. Any of you that know me from my blog will know that I make a list for everything. And it's great. It's a wonderful way because it, it helps you not to forget things. I mean, I couldn't go anywhere without my lists. I love my lists, okay? So when I have a major problem, or a minor problem, but let's talk about a big one and at this moment in time, everything you do matters so <clears throat> the more you do about this sometimes does not mean the more you are going to solve something quite the opposite so you need to make a list of obviously the first thing is going to be or your title is going to be what that problem is and then below that you need to be able to write out how you plan to resolve that but in a calm way do not do anything in haste and in temper Okay, because that is not the way. So you need to really, really be able to look at this problem from afar. And if you can do it as a third person, even better. If you can take yourself out of that whole equation and think, oh, yes, okay, that's a problem between A and B. How would I resolve that? Because then you're not in, you're not in it yourself, you know, you're not personally involved in that problem. And that is how it makes it easier for you to see a solution. So you then need to list those ideas or solutions that you possibly may have. And I would then work my way down that list until I found the one that totally removed the problem that I had. You know, sometimes we're so frightened to approach people when we have a problem, you know. If it's a problem with a, a third person or a, um, <clears throat> a, an office or whatever it may be, Never be afraid to voice your opinion on how you feel. You're not going in there as an angry person and you're certainly not going in there pleading, you know, for humble pie. You just wish to resolve this problem. So talking about it in an adult manner usually would be the right way to go, okay? The second point might be 
that if you do that, if you take that step to go and see somebody and talk about it, they probably are going to ask you, well, what do you offer as a solution to this? It really would help if you had one. But if you haven't, ask for the help. What do they suggest? How do they see you being able to resolve this? How can you get out of this problem? And of course, if it is a problem between two people, if it's a partnership problem, then you're going to need a little bit of time and dedication for this because it's in on an entirely different level. Because what happens is when it's a partnership problem, as in your partner, in your journey of life, okay, um, you're going to be feeling it here inside. And that is when it's slightly more difficult because your reasoning of being is always on another level. But the more time you can dedicate to a normal talk, try not to cross that line and become in an argumentative sense because two wrongs will never ever make a right. And they do say that when people talk, they understand each other. So you just have to accept things that need to be changed. And if the two of you are on the same page, then that is probably what you're going to be able to do. You will be able to modify small changes. Never try to change anybody completely because that's not going to work either. But if they're silly, tiny little things, then probably those changes will make all the difference. And when I say silly little things, I'm not referring that they're not important to you. Okay, of course they're important to you because it's affecting your relationship. So uh, whatever is important to you and your partner, sit down and talk about it and make those little adjustments. And, uh, you know, you, your, your emotions have to be aligned with where you want to go. So if you have a situation where, you know, one person is very, very deeply committed and, and very... Um, emotionally involved in this and the other person is not then really what are you going to do you know because you cannot make somebody have those emotions whether they be for you or for something you know something that you really want or that you want to do if your partner or the people that are around you do not feel are now not aligned with you then um it's maybe not going to happen because you want entirely different things. And again, this can be on a business level or it can be on a personal level. But the same ruling applies, you know. You either have to be prepared to meet in the middle somewhere and, and try and get a happy quote on everybody or, you know, it's just never, ever going to happen. And the thing is, is that the more stressed you are, you will find that stress is going to totally, totally steal your energy. So you're going to be left even worse than when you started. So make a list, try and keep calm. We're going to talk about this some more because it needs a lot more talking about, okay? It's a very serious subject. But for a start, try and tackle your problems that way. You want your heading and then you need to, how you think you could resolve it. And as I say, if you can take yourself out of that problem temporarily, then you may be going to be able to see things much more clear because, you know, clarity is the secret to everything. So, OK, let's chat some more about this. Bye for now.